So Smurf's on one this morning. We're feeling uh, heightened sensitivity towards stuff. Uh, we are coming up to a full moon. Um, I think it's either tomorrow or Thursday. Now, see, a full moon is a still point, like the dark moon, yeah? And what's strange is the traffic on the bridge has just stopped. It's come to a complete and utter stop. Uh, the tide's not really high. It was higher yesterday, actually. But we'll see. Um, we're both feeling like strange energy vortexes. Uh, so if I drop the camera, <laughs> it's because I've gone dizzy and fallen over. Uh, <laughs> um, what else was there? Uh, yeah, uh, so I, noises and sensations. They're all, everything's heightened. And it's, God, if that's the kind of thing that Henry has to deal with all the time, my goodness. Um, yeah, Smurfs, Smurf went funny on the last little bit on coming up here. He was like a possessed dog. He's not usually like that. Not in the daytime anyway. He is at night when he goes on his walk. So yeah, there's, a, there's an energy and even the river's quite still today. It's not quite mirror-like. It's not far off. So there's definitely a still point going on. And uh, so all these things that we're this so this is I'm talking you know metaphysics yeah uh, esoteric ideas. So when you quantum jump from one timeline, <laughs> love that sound, to the next, um, are we are we actually feeling so the stuff that we're feeling this morning are we feeling the physical manifestation of jumping timelines because what's interesting is yesterday i can't zoom in but there's two ships here today yeah there's never two big ships here yeah yesterday there was a massive, I mean, the ship that we saw yesterday obliterated the, you could not see the bridge where the ship was. So it was twice the size of that ship that's there today. And we've seen the tugs, the tugs, and we're waving at the tugs and they're hooting back. And then, you know, people on boats don't hoot down the Thames normally, like the ones that we've been seeing. I don't know why that stopped. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting series of events that have been happening that make us consider uh, the jumping of timelines, which has been happening anyway. Anomalies that happen that make you think, okay, <laughs> I think we jumped a timeline here. Um, and today is especially uh, intense, I would say, especially in regards to the sensitivity to things. Um, so yeah, so I'll share that with you. Comment below if you've been having a similar thing. Uh, or just, you know, <laughs> comment below. Uh, yeah. You can visit us on Pinterest, uh, Patreon, uh, BitChute, Brand New Tube, and MeWe. We're on MeWe as well. Be fearless, stay witchy. Okay, so you can't really see it very well, but the bridge, the traffic, started moving <laughs> as we come round past the, you can see the, the uh, thing over there, the barrier. So as we came round there, so we came round, so we went, came up. The traffic was still on the bridge, and we come back down. The traffic started moving. Mad, yeah? Synchronizations, basically, synchronicity. And this river is so still, it's like a mirror. Still point. It all points to a still point where we've changed 
timeline. Ian, you want to say anything on it? Well, I've got a little bit of battery left. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's energy, so it's kind of looking at timelines, like the seasons at different timelines. Um, how your body... We've only got like, a tiny bit of battery, babe. Yeah, so you well, know. Well, that's it then. I'll finish saying what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely something going on today. Just give you a little shot of that river. Quite amazing. Right. Back to the walk. Be fearless. Stay witchy. So, just another note. That's a document for ourselves, really. Um, so as we were coming up towards the barrier, uh, there was a crow. So <laughs> we were talking to the crow, it was actually answering us. And it was actually, <laughs> it was quite mad actually. It was on top of a lamppost, it was going around the four quarters and it got round to the east. And I said, anything at the south? And it turned to the south and started talking. <laughs> and then we're coming up here and there was a crow dive bombing a bush. So we don't know what that meant. We looked at the bush, oh. couldn't see anything there. Oh. I don't know if you can feel anything there. Me. But that could be a, a something for later, much like With the me. crow talking. Um, so we might not be able to decipher it now, but later on it will become apparent, which these things, it's usually the case with these things. <laughs> so it's quite interesting. Yeah, so I'd add that as well. So oh, Smurf, Smurf, say hello to mummy. No. Speak. No. 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 Put his tweed on today because it's cold. <laughs> He's so stubborn. Good boy. Morning. There it goes. Geese, 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 there they are. Hear them? We're a little bit late for them to fly. We, they would have flown right over us if we'd have been a little bit earlier. Wow. There we go. Nice place to end the video. Be fearless, stay witchy.